Hi, this video is all about relations and functions. So let's define first what is a relation. A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a second set of values called the range. The elements of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule to these inputs to generate one or more outputs. So again, a relation is anything that takes an input so we have different set of inputs. We have numbers, it can be letters or anything that will represent an element. And again, if this machine will represent a relation, so we are expecting to have one or more outputs. So for example, my input is three, maybe this relation will give me an output of a single number like one, or maybe this one will give me two set of numbers like one and two. So let's consider this table. So I have here is input and output. Let's say on a relation, let's say my input is 3. So maybe I have an output of 1. Maybe um, if I have an input of negative 2, I have this output as 5. Let's say I have this input of 3 and my output is 2. And let's say I have negative 1 as my input and output of 4. Now, we can represent a relation in several ways. So we have table, ordered pairs, graphs, and mapping diagram. So table of values is just a graphic organizer or chart that will help us to determine two or more points that can be used to create your own graph. So before we graph or plot a point, we usually need to create or construct table of values. So for example, we have here the x or the domain and we have the y or the values of our range. Let's say we have 3 and 2. Let's say I have negative 2 and 1. Let's say we have 3 and negative 2. Let's say we have negative 4 and positive 3. So those are the values. Let's say we, are, we will represent different um, relation with the use of this table. Now, in terms of ordered pairs, so we know that ordered pair is just a composition of x coordinate or the abscissa and the y coordinate or the ordinate. So we are pairing this set of values with fixed order. So those that order will be x and y and we will enclose this with the use of parentheses. So let's say let's transform this table into a set of ordered pairs. So we have this one became so we have three and two. So this one is negative two comma one. So this is three comma negative two and this point is four comma three. So that is our ordered pair. Now Basically, if you want to grab something, if you want to grab points or ordered pairs, we need this Cartesian plane. So we need to plot the points here. So let's say we have 3 comma positive 2. So we have 3 comma positive 2. So we have 3 here as x value and we have positive 2. So their intersection will be 3 comma 2. Next, we have negative 2 comma 1. So we have here this negative value of x and positive 1 so we have negative 2 and positive 1 this is their in intersection so we have negative 2 comma 1 next we have 3 comma negative 2 so we have again 3 and we have a negative value so that is below so that is 3 comma negative 2 and then last is negative 4 comma 3 so we have here this value of negative 4 comma positive 3 so 3 units upward so we have here this point so we have negative 4 comma 3 now last is the mapping diagram so mapping diagram will show how elements are being paired so it it's like a flow chart for a function showing the input and output values so this first set of circle will represent the values of our domain or the x values and this one second one will represent the values of our range so we simply need to list down all of the values here so for example 
we have here this domain let's extract all of the values of our x here so we have we have negative 2 negative 4 and positive 3 so as you observe we have here two set of positive 3 so with this of mapping diagram we can simply write it a single number now let's list down the values of our range with use of our y values so we have negative 2 1 2 and positive 3 so since this is a mapping diagram we need to um, show the pairing of our values for example 3 positive 3 here is paired with positive 2 so we need to construct a line so this 3 is being paired with positive 2 next negative 2 and 1 so we have negative 2 and 1 next we have positive 3 and negative 2 positive 3 and negative 2 and last is negative 4 and positive 3 so negative 4 and positive 3 so again on constructing mapping diagram it's either we will use a table ordered pairs or graphs now let's answer this problem Identify the domain and range of the relation. Represent the relation using ordered pairs, a table, and a mapping diagram. So again, let's construct first the, um, the representation of this graph with use of ordered pairs, table, and mapping diagram. And then later, we will solve for the domain and the range. So for example, we have here this Cartesian plane with some points. Let's construct its ordered pair. So let's say this point is point A. So this is negative 3, comma, positive 1. So for point A, we have negative 3, comma, positive 1. Now let's name this point as point B. So that is under negative 2, comma, negative 2. So for point B, we have negative 2, comma, negative 2. Now, let's um, name this point as point C. So that is from positive 1, comma, positive 4. So, so C is positive 1, comma, positive 4. So let's name this as D. D is uh, positive 2, comma, positive 1. So we have 2, comma, 1. And last, this point as point E. So we have 3, comma, negative 1. Negative 1. Okay. So now, let's construct table of values. So again, it is just a set of values of x and y. So we have the first point is negative 3 and its y value is 1. So we have negative 2 and another set of negative 2. We have here this point C with x values of 1 and y as 4. For point D, we have x as 2 and y value as 1 and last for point e we have 3 and negative 1 as its y value now let's construct a mapping diagram that will represent this relation so again we need to construct a circle that, rep that will represent the values of our domain and range so just construct two set of circles here and list down the elements so for example we have here this element so we have negative 3 negative 2 1 2 and 3 we have this point 1 negative 2 4 and negative 1 and we need to show their pairing or the line so negative 3 is paired with positive 1 so negative 3 to positive 1 negative 2 to negative 2 negative 2 to negative 2 we have 1 and 4 we have 2 and 1 so we have 2 positive 1 and we have 3 and negative 1 3 and negative 1 okay so now let's list down the values of our domain and the values of our range so for our domain, we have this set of values. We have negative 3, negative 2, 1, 2, and 3. And the values of our range are we have 1, negative 2, 
4 and negative 1. So again, with use of this detail, we can represent this graph as an ordered pair, a table, and a mapping diagram. Now, let's proceed with functions. Again, a function is a relation where each in the domain is related to only one value in the range by some rule. The elements of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule so that each input corresponds to only one output. So this is the unique thing here. So if we have this function, let's say this is our function machine, if we take an input, okay, so let's say I put a number, let's say 3, so it will always give us um, only one output. So for example, this is 3 as my input and this machine will give me only single number. Let's say I have negative 1 as my output. So let's say I have here this graph. Let's say I have 3 and my output is negative 1. Let's say I have 2 and my output is let's say 4. Let's say I have 1 and my output is 0 and let's say 0 and my output is let's say 5 okay so let's proceed now let's solve this given um, situation so is it a function or not a function so let's try to observe the values of our ordered pairs letter a so we have negative 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 2 comma 7 and 8 comma negative 1 so again, if this is a function, therefore, for every values of our input, we only have a single output. So basically, we need to observe the values of our x. So since an ordered pair consists of x and y values, so this 2, 3, and 2, 7, they contain the same value of our domain. Therefore, A is not a function. Now, let's try to solve the, va the ordered pair letter B. So again, we have here 2, 7, negative 1, 7, 2, 7 again, and 3, negative 1. So since we have here this same element we have 2 comma 7 and 2 comma 7 we can simply represent this or write this in a single 2 comma 7 therefore so since we have 2 we have negative 1 and we have 3 as our domain therefore this b is a function now let's proceed for example, what if we are asked to determine if the given graphs are function or not a function? So, basically, we have here this step to determine if the graph is a function or not a function. So, we have this vertical line test. Now, what do you mean by vertical line test? So, we simply need to construct a vertical line. So, for example, for this graph A, just construct a vertical line and observe that this line intersects our graph at two points. Okay? Therefore, A is not a function. Next, for point B, so let's construct a random vertical line. So again, this line intersects our graph with exactly one point, therefore this is a function. And last for graph C, let's construct again vertical line and it intersects our graph with exactly two points. Therefore this graph C is not a function. 